Alright, let's see where they go. I'm not sure if they strike the have already happened. Wow. FD, Pretty interesting FD, choice. Okay. So, typically Ice Climber's best stage, would you agree? Yeah, in almost every matchup. A few of them make it actually worse, like Peach. And uh, mm. depending on how the Fox player plays, this can actually be a nightmare, but... Uh, yeah, with like wave shines so and things far, like that. Yeah, so far he doesn't seem to have that stylistic thing. Spending a lot of time in the air. Right. So that's good for the Ice Climbers. Yeah, I know typically Alec uh, really dislikes Fox, um, but he enjoys Falco, at least the matchup. I okay. guess because uh, Falco's lasers um, will like, hit one, but not really interrupt Nana, or will only interrupt Popo, let's say. So, yeah. I don't know, I, I know he typically enjoys playing Falcos. I think a down smash might have been a better edge guard there. You don't cover as much ground with the forward smash. Yeah. For the straight, yep. That was good. Bad DI on that. Yeah. Oh, this could be... Oh, it doesn't really okay, get anything off of it. Yeah. I expected him to wobble, but... Yeah, or at least like a down throw down air, but I think he's just uh, yeah. styling, practicing a little bit. I know he, uh, he typically doesn't like to go for down throw down airs because uh, technically like a good Fox player will SDI it, so he'd That's rather true. not rely on, on that. Hmm. Yeah, I would say that because you can get the uh, re-grab out of the handoff if they do a down throw or they do a forward throw, and their throw is random at the center of the stage. Right. So you have a 50% chance of, of having a chance to execute it properly. Right. Whereas with the down throw down air, even if they execute it near perfect, you can still do it so that you can get them. And then you can make a read on whether they're going to spot dodge or, or roll back if they do happen to do it properly. Right. Oh, tough trade there with the down air. Yeah. I think if the up air came out a little sooner, it might have not been as much of a problem. A lot of smash attacks coming out. <laughs> up throw. I don't know. Yeah, up throw at low enough percents against space animals can lead to a dash attack, um, although they can actually jump out of it. But it requires somewhat precise timing. Right. I know at uh, some odd percents, like probably now, uh, I think the even just Popo could do, get a lot of dash attacks on uh, on Fox, just like over, like kind of like Peaches, just keeps hitting them and hitting them. Right, yeah, depending on their DI. Mm -hmm. They'll either pop them straight up or pop them in front of the Ice Climbers. All right, that's okay. good up smash. Luke likes, likes his smash attacks. Yeah, good idea. Maybe that doesn't, oh, okay. This stream was awkwardly smooth. Thank you. We have like the <laughs> probably uh, the best stuff actually. Oh, that's always tough when uh, Nana does a random like nair or forward air off the edge. Oh, nice. I didn't know you could regrab at zero with the I in. Yeah, you can regrab actually really high um, at really high percents with the I in. Yeah. You have to have the read because you can also get the regrab at almost any percent. Um, any reasonable percent when they DI away as well, but you just have to know they're going that way. Right. Good crouch cancel. Oh, Aw, read it, but didn't. Nice. Nice, yeah. Yeah, whenever you're going against a solo ice climber, it's almost always best to just DI away. Yeah. Because the worst they can do is get like a follow-up dash attack or something, but if you if you DI in place, they can get a down smash, they can get a re-grab, mm -hmm. up smash, and they can do all sorts of nasty stuff. Nice little combo there. Up and back air, and all right, good, good trade. Takes game one. Good job, Fry Cook. Yeah, so I think, I think that's a good that match is a good example of why FD can be good for ice Right. Players. And I don't agree with taking it back. Yeah, I'm surprised. I guess, uh, I think Priest just really, really likes the stage. I guess so. He could really use the platforms, though. I mean, Frycook's getting some, yeah. some, good, some good cheese up uh, on these combos. Like, all these up throws would just lead to a, you know, platform tech. Yep. If there were platforms. Yeah, he needs to be doing a lot more of that jumping and shining. Yeah, don't want to dash attack someone's shield ever. It can be hard not to because a lot of dash attacks in the game are great, but they're so punishable. Nice re-grab. Uh, this should be the stock. Nice. There's another example of, of DI'ing away, like all the way away, down and away, would have saved him from that down smash. Wow, nice re-grab. Oh, I just noticed his tag is grab. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, I'm not sure if we'll be streaming No Johns. Most likely. Um, if we're not, then not 20XX is probably going to be streaming it. And uh, it should be 60 FPS to stream, but it uh, it does drop like, occasionally, but for the most part, it should be 60. All right, so Fry Cook, only 3% on that. Yeah, that was good DI to get out of yeah. the pop up. Oh, there's the down throw down air. Yeah, there we go. Oh, nice wobble. Oh, wow, gets out. Must have been imperfect. Being attacked by a sloth right now. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> I can't even see the game. <laughs> so, what do you typically like to do in this matchup? Um, well, it depends. It really depends on how the fox player is playing. Um, if they're playing, nice. So, if if they're spending a lot of time jumping around, you have to try to get a get a read on their movement patterns and right. intercept with an up air. Um, maybe catch their landing with a dash attack and get a re-grab out of it. Um, if they're if they're running in a lot, like getting a decent blizzard, if you can do it fast enough, um, can stop that and get you a grab. But also, like, wave dash jab is really helpful. Right. Um, oh, no DI on there. All right, Fryco kicks that 2-0. Good 2-0 victory for Fryco. 